Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the tutorial of this crochet earring. So here, as you can see, I have made the earring in two different sizes. One is a little bit smaller and one is a little bit bigger. So both are going to follow the same pattern. It's just that I have used a different size yarn and hook to make this earring. So that's why the uh, difference in size. So let's see the supplies that you'd require for this. So for my bigger one here, I have used this cotton yarn. So this is a super fine cotton yarn. Uh, it's I think weight one. That is the weight of this yarn. And with that, I have used a 3 mm crochet hook. So that is the yarn and the hook size that I've used to make the bigger one. And in order to make the small one, I have used a crochet thread. So this is the Ticket 10 crochet cotton thread. And with that, I have used a 1.5 5 mm crochet hook so this is the yarn and hook that I, have, that I have used to make the small one now apart from that you would require a pair of scissors and a darning needle now you don't need any fancy crochet tools you don't need a, a pliers and all of that you just need a darning needle to attach your hook and the beads so if you want you can have beads I have taken wooden beads you can totally ignore that but if you want you can add beads and apart from that you would also require this kind of earring hooks so these are the supplies that you'd require now if you're ready we can start the tutorial so we'll start this by making a slip knot first so make your slip knot and once you have your slip knot we'll start with five chain stitch okay so we're going to start by making five chain stitch one two three four five all right so here we have got a five chain stitch now what we'll do is we'll slip stitch into the very first chain stitch in order to make it into a circle so go ahead and slip stitch into the very first chain stitch all right so here we have got a circle here and we'll be working in this circle so we'll start our uh, round one by making five chain stitch so chain five one two three four and five so this five chain stitch will be treated as a double crochet plus two chain stitch once you have that make a double crochet into the circle so I'm making a double crochet here once you make a double crochet follow it by two chain stitch chain two one two again you make a double crochet so into your circle place a double crochet and then make two chain stitch one two again make a double crochet and then make two chain stitch so here I've got my double crochet I'm going to make two chain stitch so I'm going to repeat this till I have a total of eight double crochet in the circle here so this chain five as I said the three chain stitch will be treated as a double crochet so here I've got one two three four I've got four double crochet I'm going to make a total of eight double crochet so once you make a double crochet just follow it by two chain stitch again make a double crochet and make two chain stitch so this is one two three four five six I have to make two more double crochet so this here is my seventh double crochet chain two again a double crochet so this here is my eighth double crochet chain two all right so if you count you will have a total of eight double crochet one two three four five six seven eight and this here is my chain two next what i'll do is i'll slip stitch into the third chain of my chain five so one two three this here is my third chain I'll go there and slip stitch in order to finish off my round one. So I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain of my chain five. Like this. So this completes our round one. We will move on to the next round. So we'll start our round two by slip stitching into the chain two space. We have slip stitch into the third chain of our chain three. We will make one more slip stitch into the chain two space. So I'm making a slip stitch into the chain two space here. All right. Next, what we'll do is we'll start with five chain stitch. So make five chain stitch. 
वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव सो ही हैव गॉट माई फाइव चेन स्टिच नेक्स्ट इन द सेम चेन टू स्पेस पुट थ्री मोर डबल क्रोशे सो इन द सेम स्पेस आई एम गोइंग टू मेक थ्री डबल क्रोशे सो दिस हियर इज वन टू एंड वन मोर डबल क्रोशे आई एम गोइंग टू पुट थ्री सो ही हैव गॉट थ्री डबल क्रोशे इन द चेन टू स्पेस नेक्स्ट मेक चेन वन and then make a double crochet in the next chain 2 space so after making one chain stitch i'm going into this chain 2 space and making only one double crochet like this after that make chain 1 come to your next chain 2 space and put three double crochet so here i've got a double crochet i've got chain 1 i'm going into my next double chain 2 space there and in that i'm going to make three double crochet so this is my second double crochet one two and one more so here i'm going to place three double crochet in this chain two space after this make two chain stitch one two and then make three more double crochet in the chain in the same chain two space so this here is exactly a corner here the square corner so i have three double crochet i have two chain stitch and in the same space make Three double crochet, one, two, and one more, three. So here I've got my three double crochets. So this here forms the corner. So for a corner, you have to make three double crochet, two chain stitch, and three double crochet. Okay. Once this corner is made, just make one chain space. That is, put just one chain one. I've made chain one. Come to your next space. and make only one double crochet okay so here you have a chain one you have a double crochet make one more chain one so chain one in this space i'm going to put my next corner okay so double crochet and chain one is done into the corner you have to make three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet so this is one two and three so here i have made three double crochet then make two chain stitch and then put three double crochet in the same chain two space so that will complete our next corner so whenever you are at the corner you have to make three double crochet two chain stitch and three double crochet so this is one two and three so this completes our next corner i just show you so this is how this looks so far once you finish your corner chain 1 come to the next chain 2 space and make a normal double crochet follow it by a chain 1 and then make a corner in the next space so our double crochet has been made follow it by chain 1 and for this corner here i'm going to make three double crochet 1 2 3 three double crochet two chain stitch and three more double crochet all in the same chain two space so this is one two and three all right so here we have got the next corner so we are done with three corners one two three once this corner is finished make chain one come to your next chain two space and make a double crochet like this then again a chain one now here in this corner uh, you can see that half the thing is made so we have three double crochet we have two chain stitch and this chain five three double three chain stitch is a double crochet so what you have to do is you have to put two more double crochet in this space so go into that space and just make two double crochet so this is one another one two so the chain 3 of the chain 5 is the third double crochet here so in order to finish this just slip stitch into the third chain of your chain 5 so this is my third chain i'm going to slip stitch in order to finish this okay so this completes our square we now before cutting off this yarn i'm going to make one more slip stitch into the chain 2 space okay so this actually is done the square is actually done but in order to attach my yarn and the hook i'm going to slip stitch into the 
chain 2 space so make a slip stitch into the chain 2 space and now we can cut the yarn off so I'm going to cut my yarn I'm going to leave a long tail so as to attach my hook and the bead here so you can cut your yarn here and this is done okay now all you have to do is you have to shape it uh, once you attach your hook and the bead you can block this properly and use a fabric stiffener okay now let's just attach the bead here but before that i'm going to use a darning needle first and thread this in okay, so here i have threaded this in now i'll take my bead and then pass it through this all right once I have that, I'll take the hook also and then pass it along this one. Now once you have the bead and the hook, I'm going to pass this through my bead again and come down all the way down like this. So this will kind of attach the bead and the hook. And once you have that, you can just knot it and then hide in the tails. Now if you feel the need uh, to... Um, you can uh, if you feel the need you can just go along once more go up and down through the bead and the hook or just you can do it once and knot it down and then hide in the loose ends so I'll go down and just hide in this loose end so that's will be done so go through a couple of stitches down and I'll you can just hide in like this and then cut in the rest of your yarn like that you can hide in the this tail also and if you want you can just pull it tight so that the gap gets smaller the circle in the middle circle gets smaller okay so our earring is done it's made uh, you can just uh, block it and you can use a fabric stiffener in order to make it a little bit stiffer so here i have blocked this and used a fabric stiffener and you can see that the you get a nice square shaped earring so this needs to be blocked so i'll do that also okay so that's it so that completes our earring i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you like it please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing see you in the next video until then bye bye thank you for watching